how will Kawhi and LeBron's legacies both be impacted by his decision to join the Clippers? LeBron's legacy will be unimpacted. Mm. You can't do undo what's already been done. Mm. How do you take those four regular season MVPs, those three mm. uh, finals MVPs? He's a top five in scoring. Mm. He's going to be top, possibly top five in assists. I don't believe Kawhi's decision impacts Braun in any way. Hmm. Now, can Kawhi enhance his own legacy? Sure he can. I don't know how much by winning titles without having regular season MVPs on that resume. Because it's hard for me to believe, Skip, a, a player can be a, considered a pantheon great without having a regular season. Mm -hmm. See, it's easy for me, and, I, and I'm not saying it's easier, but to win finals MVP is over seven games when the regular season MVP is over the entirety of a season. Hmm. And Kawhi does not have any on his resume. Now, he and Magic Johnson are the only two guys to have multiple finals MVPs before they won their first regular season MVP. Now, we know Magic went on to win three of those. We have yet, we don't know if Kawhi will or won't, but I'm saying he doesn't have any of those, Skip. I don't get, see, and everybody keeps saying LeBron's legacy is, takes a hit because Kawhi turns him down. Does Kawhi's legacy take a hit because KD turned him down? Does his legacy take a hit because Ky Kyrie turned him down? Hmm. Does it? Because they did turn him down, right? They told him no. Yeah. Is it my turn? No, it's oh, not your turn. Yeah, I'm, just I saying, I, I'm, I'm ready. I, I'm just, yeah. just going <laughs> to give you a little food hmm. for thought. Oh. They make it seem like Kawhi joined a 25-win team. Did the Clippers make the playoffs? Yeah. Oh, okay, they did. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. Now, LeBron goes to the Lakers last year. They were a 35-win team, and he brought no one with him. Kawhi joins a 48-win team, and by the way, I'm heading to L.A. Paul George. Holler at your boy. Mm. So he gets Paul George, and we're like, oh, my God, did you see what Kawhi did? Mm. Did you see what Paul George did? Now, I know a guy that would have done that move, and everybody would have obliterated him. But we're not talking about that right now. We talk. Are we putting number two and LeBron in the whoa, same sense? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. You've been trying to. Been... Echelon? I don't Hold know. Hold on. You keep talking about their legacy. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's compared. I don't even think it's compared. I haven't said a word about it. Well, you shouldn't legacy. say a word. Yeah, let, let, I haven't yeah, spoken yeah, yet. Let, let the king <laughs> yeah. speak let right the king now. Speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, Skip, look. Not that Kawhi, it would have been very, very interesting because everybody says, well, he didn't want to join the Lakers. It would have been very, very interesting if Sam Presti said, Heck no, Jerry West. Heck no, Lawrence Frank. Mm -hmm. I'm not dealing you, Paul George. Could have. And if you, beside your jury would have said, nah, I'm good over here. I'm not dealing with y'all. What would Kawhi have done? Mm. It would have been very, very interesting with this, Skip. Because he showed if he wanted the Clippers so bad, Fred they opened up on 630, June 30th. He could have signed with the Clippers from out the gate. Why didn't he? Mm. Why didn't he do that, Skip? Because he wanted to take somebody along with him. Free agency opened first day last year. Who was one of the first guys to ink a contract? Mm. LeBron James. And took no one. LeBron James. He's he semi-retired. I mean, he so you said, see, I want to go to see, Hollywood. Now he's semi-retired. Mm. He tries to get, he gets Anthony Davis. Mm. He tries to recruit uh, Kawhi. Oh, he weak. He mm. weak. I thought he was retired. Mm. How can you be retired and weak? Mm. Oh, you mm. see? Mm. I see how you're doing this, old Skip Bayless. Mm. Oh, but you Tell me when it's my It's not your turn yeah. just yet. But I'm going to say this, Skip. I just believe there's nothing Kawhi could do to catch LeBron James. Mm. Because LeBron, he's top five. He's not coming out. Kawhi is trying to get into the top ten. Mm. And that's going to be very difficult for him mm. without any regular season MVPs mm. on his resume. I think it's my turn. Now. It's your turn now. Finally. We're eight minutes into the yeah, show. Yeah. Yeah, we... <laughs> what amuses me about everything you just said is just a couple of days ago, just back to Friday, yeah. Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, you were number two's biggest supporter. I still you... am. Oh, are you? Yes. Oh, really? I ain't no problem. I... No, 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 no. I didn't. No, I didn't. Mm. I just said that his legacy, LeBron's legacy is unimpacted mm. by anything that Kawhi does. That's it. Mm. So before I get to the guts of my answer, I must admit, I love the decision number two made because I can't not love it. I challenged him all week last week to have the guts to compete against LeBron. Don't join him. Fight him. Come to his town and fight him face-to-face -face in his own building. Share the building and fight him. Mm -hmm. That was my theme all last week, and by golly, he did it. 
So, and he he did bring along some, some oh, yeah. big help, yeah. but, but he did it. He chose to go face to face with LeBron at Staples Center. So to me, I got to applaud that move because I, I have mixed emotions here. I, I have no choice but to applaud that because that did take some measure of guts, even though he did holla at his boy and his boy came. Yeah. Okay. But I, I got that. But you can't blame him for that because that's the way the, the game is played now. Everybody does. Oh, but no, no, no. Because there are no more Michael Jordans. But, there was one and one only, and he's now running Charlotte. It, barely. Into the ground, yeah. I might into add. The ground, yeah. <laughs> but hold on, Skip. What, why aren't you offering the critique of the criticism of him getting another great player to come along? Because that's what you did with LeBron. Yeah, yeah but, but he's he's shaky. He, he's not a closer. He, he needs help. He knows he needs help. He knows full well, because he's a shrewd operator, as we've been finding out. Yeah, a lot shrewder than we gave him credit he for. He knew just how lucky he was last year in Toronto, because every break in the world went his way. Literally the, and figuratively. That's correct. <laughs> The basketball god said, let there be championship, and it was. Yeah. So, so he knows, boy, if you're going to go back to the West, he knows the West because he played in the West for mm -hmm. a long time. But he had, he had some help. Yes. He had Duncan Parker and Ginobili. Mm -hmm. And so now he's saying, I want to go to the Clippers and share that building with that guy. I need help. Okay. Kevin, come help me. No, no, sorry, I'm standing in New York. Jimmy Butler, come. No, I'm going to Miami. Kyrie. Uh, me and KD, we're, we're just, we're like this, man. Right. We, we got to do this with the Nets. Right. And it comes down to he's begging. He's he's going over to Paul George's house to beg him. So he Please begging, come huh? with it. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm giving you that. Because, Isn't that a knock? That's yeah. a knock. I mean, okay. begging is so unbecoming. Okay. All right. Ooh. But guess what happened? <laughs> very, very late Friday night and early Saturday morning in the East, because it was almost 2 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. Number two dropped a stealth bomb that changed NBA history in my estimation because it effectively ended LeBron's championship possibilities. LeBron James is not going to win another championship without number two. Period. End of story. So you're getting that kind of credit. Yes, I do, because... It would have taken the Clippers completely out of the equation. They would have not been a contender without him because he brought Paul George. So that wouldn't have happened. So right. the, the Clippers are still flailing. They would have scrambled just like the Lakers just did and tried to sign this guy and that guy and this guy, and it all adds up to whatever because you still don't have a star except you got Montrez and Lou Williams, and that's it, right? Okay. Correct. So you take them out of the equation. But more important, what did you talk about? Why were you about to – throw a parade last week because on hair trigger was the potential to have LeBron James and Anthony Davis and number two all in purple and gold. Yes. And they become maybe the most prohibitive favorite in the history of the NBA going into the season, I right? Agree. Yes. And I gave it up to you. I said, yeah, they might win a couple of Heck, they might win three, let's say three of the next four mm -hmm. championships, depending how long LeBron can hang in there and hang on at his age. But, but again, up to 38, yeah, maybe, maybe they could win three more championships. What if LeBron went from three and six, which he is right now, to six and six? What if LeBron could say, I won as many championships as Michael Jordan won, and I doubled him in finals appearances? I got 12, and he had only six. Yeah, but, you could, but then you and the other Jordan apologists will say, yeah, but Michael was six for six. Six finals okay, MVP. Okay, obviously, I would cling to that, and I would yeah. fight for that because that's six and zero. But it would give you so much more ammunition than you have right now at three and six. I got enough ammo. No, don't you don't. I got a plenty of ammo. You don't. It, it's not got credible. Got 50,000 rounds. It's not credible ammo. Yes, it is. Not like this. So you had it, and you knew it. It's, I still it's got right it. there. It's like within your grasp. Did LeBron retire? What are you talking about? Did he retire? It looked like he did last year. Oh, my goodness. Well, Skip. He went 28 and 27 in the games he started last year. And still, and still had more points than okay. Kawhi and KD. Okay, so I'm going to say this also about number two. The, the cowardly decision, but, but actually the smarter decision for number two at 2 a.m. Eastern would be to say, okay, I give up. I'm, I'm joining LeBron because – if, if you want legacy, if we're talking about improving legacy, obviously it would be far more impressive for him to win a championship leading the Clippers along with Paul George to a championship, the doormats of L.A., the, the stepchild. Mm -hmm. But 
in the end, that's going to be very difficult. I'm not sure he can pull that off with Paul George. And you know how I feel about Paul George. What have I often called him? You called him George Paul. George Paul. But now a lot he's of times a savior. People, I didn't say he was a savior. Oh, yeah. You talked about oh, how good he is. He was first team all NBA, well, first team all defense. Well, he, they now have the two best two-way players in basketball. They do. And Paul George had a phenomenal – he had his best year last year. And what did he get? I him? just – Say what I see. And couldn't get him out the first round. Thank you very much. To my point, that's the point. That's what you're up against are two guys who I, I think they have shaky intangibles. I'm not sold on either one. Mm-hmm. But if number two takes the cowardly way out and says, I'm joining LeBron and AD, what if he What if he puts three more championships on his resume? What if he wins two more finals MVPs and he's got four finals MVPs? With no regular what, season means nothing. Okay, what if he did win a regular season MVP? But now that he's the media darling, because he out of last year, I've never seen anything like okay. it. I kept telling you, he's the most protected superstar this side of LeBron James. So now you'd have two of them playing together. Mm-hmm. What if LeBron did go full-on Magic Johnson? He's the orchestrator distributor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, it's between AD and number two, and maybe number two act actually decides to play like 50 games. I don't know. And maybe it's enough to qualify. I think you have to play 50 to qualify for MVP <laughs> of regular season. Yeah. Well, what if he did? What if he won it? I don't know. He certainly got the ability to win an but, MVP. But you see. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.